Hi, this is Lee Ambergy, stampwithlee.com. I'm a stamping up demonstrator in Mentor, Ohio, and thank you for stopping by for today's video. And this is going to be the card that we're making um, today. And basically, um, it's we're going to be making basically the same thing. I am going to be, you know me, changing it up just a little bit. Um, and I realized I did not bring my flyer um, flyer over with me, but June's PDF ordering tutorial features the Irresistible Blooms uh, bundle. That's an online exclusive. And what that is, is any $25 online purchase in my online store that you make using June's host code. You have to, it has to be $25 order on my Stamping Up online store and you have to use the host code, um, you will receive an email that has pictures for five cards, a listing of all the material used, and step-by-step -step directions for those five cards. And again, June features the Irresistible uh, Blooms bundle. But this is the card we're making today, and this happy birthday is from the Very Best Occasions stamp set. It's that one right there. It has a great a uh, variety of stamps. It also includes uh, two Christmas. And this was, was in the annual mini catalog. I think it was in the last holiday mini and it was carried over, I think, into the annual catalog. And the squares here were from the Stylish Shapes dies. Um, and that's what I'm going to be changing up today. So basically everything is, is going to be the same, but I am switching up what we're doing with that uh, happy birthday. So all of the measurements are listed below this uh, video on my blog, but this is four and a quarter by 11 basic white cardstock. And that has been scored in the center and I've just burnished with the bone folder. And got my happy birthday here, Memento, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I guess it doesn't matter if I stamp upside down because I will be, um, popping that out with a die. So let's see, hopefully though, we still wanna get this straight. It's kind of crooked. And my stamp is crooked. <laughs> uh, okay, see what's going on, let me see. See what's going on the second time. All right. A little bit better. All right, so what I'm going to do on this one, like I said, I'm just changing it up just a little bit, is I'm going to pop this out with a one of the circle dies from the Stylish Shapes. That's pretty good. I'm going to put some just uh, temporary tape on there so it stays in place. Now, this designer series paper is from the Delightfully Eclectic DSP. Um, I think it's like 48 sheets, $30 seems to stick in my head, but it is a good variety, a good mix of designer series paper that you get with that. But this piece of basic black, this gets mounted onto here. I am going to use a banner die from the Stylus Shapes and cut that out. And I'm using this paper because it's gonna get covered up. So. As long as I cut that from the center, I've got my stamp and cut mini here. Pull that over. Since these these dies will fit in here, so I've got that. Like I said, that's going to get covered up. Let me pop this greeting out. Crank that through. Out of the way. It's garbage. There's the greeting. So, oh, here we go. Lost this. So, let's just start to assemble here and get um, our pieces, parts put together. So, I have my DSP. It's going to get mounted to my basic black cardstock that I'm going to mount to my card base over towards the left. 
some fuzzies. Oh, and I do want to uh, remind you also, I forgot that flyer too. I forgot, I forgot all my stuff. Um, designer Series Paper, June 1st, 15% uh, off started on select Designer Series Papers. Um, so yeah, so check that out. I will have that information at the bottom of, of this um, video also. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this and I'm going to mount that to there. And that's going to go here. So I think... Do I want that flush and this popped up or all of it popped up? I think I'm going to pop all of it up. All right, so I know I only want adhesive in the center. Yeah, I'm only putting adhesive here in the center because I don't want it all over the place. Just trying to figure out what looks centered. That looks pretty good. So then I'm going to get some dimensionals. Here, do I have some? Yep. Oh, these have been cut in half. That works. So I'm gonna get some dimensionals. Oops, I missed one. There. Well, no, maybe not. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get the backings off of here. Then we're going to put this, yeah, right about there. Maybe straight this time. Oh. I still think I still like it there. All right, so let's see if maybe we can get it straight. <laughs> Straighter. <laughs> people you know I always tell you <laughs> no struggles real <laughs> struggle bus <laughs> all right so I have the um what was this the black and white gingham ribbon and tied a bow glued out on the back of that I'm gonna pop this down here I need to uh trim the ends the tails Oh, here we go again. This is like trimming bangs. I need to just leave it alone because the more I trim, the more I end up with no, <laughs> with no tails. So there, I mean, this was the greeting mounted with the, the, the square stylus shapes. This I used the circle and just like a banner die behind it. But for this one, I also pulled out here the earth. The um, matte black dots. I think I might put some on this one. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what I want to do. Just for some, um, just for some added. Why not just stay where the dots are? <laughs> Make it easy. Oh, and let's. Yeah, let's put that one there. So there we go. Um, so that's it. A very easy, fast um, birthday card using the, um, what was that? Very Best Occasion stamp set, the Stylish Shapes dies, and the uh, Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series paper. So thanks again for joining me today. I appreciate you stopping by. Have a wonderful day. Bye.